ideas for the school dance. I hope they come up with something before the ceiling comes down. Wait till the crowd sees my costume. I'm sure to win first prize. I'll get it, dear. Hello, Mr. Andrews. Hello, Reggie. <laughs> no, Mary, that's the first time I've seen that boy without his hair pasted down with greasy kid stuff. <laughs> it's a swell costume, Reggie, but... Well? We were just considering going as a group. Yeah, and share first prize if we win. Are you with us, Reg? Are you kidding? Most certainly not. With this costume, I'm sure to win, and I'm not sharing first prize with anyone. Good night, Mr. Andrews. Uh, good night, Reggie. He's pasted his hair down again. Well, that narrows our group down to four. With Reggie so sure he'll win, it hardly seems worth trying to come up with a costume. I got it. Let's go as the four losers. They're really funny. <laughs> well, what you got there, hot dog? Hey, by golly, you've done it. What is it, Archie? Hey, men from Mars. Groovy. Why not? We can even fix my car up as a flying saucer. Cool. That'll give old Red some competition. That's what they think. Oh, uh, are you still hanging around, Reggie? Well, that just about does it, Arch. It's just too, too. Real boss, Arch. Thanks, girls. If that's not way out, I don't know what is. Did you girls finish the costumes? That all done, Archie. Keen. We didn't forget you, hot dog. Here. How about that? I always wondered what the world looked like to a goldfish. When we get the rest of our outfits on, we'll be all set to go. Hmm. Archie and Jug did do a convincing job on that flying saucer, and those are good costumes. Convincing flying saucer. Hmm. Say, that could be the answer to my winning the costume prize. Hop in, girls. Standing by for blast off. All aboard from the moon, Jupiter, Mars, and Riverdale High! Hello, uh, Riverdale Police. I, I just saw a Martian flying saucer headed down Pear Street toward Peach. Uh, you better hurry, it looks like an invasion force. And now to take my time getting to the dance and pick up first prize. Uh, what did Archie and his wrecking crew finally decide on for costumes, dear? Oh, I don't know, Fred. I was so busy with the dishes when they left, I didn't notice. Here's a news bulletin. A Martian flying saucer invasion of Riverdale has just been reported. Hmm. Oh, Fred, the children, the school dance. Oh, my goodness. Those poor Martians. <laughs> This is car four, moving east on Peach, approaching Pear. No sign of UFO, proceeding north to Apple. Over. Oh, ow! 
help! Somebody give me a hand! What's wrong, Juggy? I was just snacking on a banana and my hand got stuck. <laughs> Phew! Thanks, Betty. Hmm, a siren. I'd better pull over. Stop at that service station, Arch. I want to wash my hands. Yeah, I can use some air in my tires, too. Hurry, boys. We don't want to be late. Now, this is car four proceeding north on Apple. Just spotted UFO moving east on a banana. <laughs> Watch it, Charlie. <laughs> Car four, what happened? We just went into a slippery spin! On banana? Hmm, that figures. How oh, fooling! They must have used some kind of spin ray on us. Who knows what kind of weapons they have? Come on, Charlie, let's take cover! Can't you hurry with those tires, Archie? I'm hurrying, Ronnie. Hey, Art. The station attendant took one look at me and said something about taking me to his leader, and then he ran off. <laughs> oh boy, a flat! Let's take cover further back, Charlie. They're shooting. Let's walk, Betty. Yeah, we'll never get to the dance at this rate. I think I'll take a shortcut across the park to Apple. <gasps> Let's get out of here! We'll meet you boys at the dance. Don't take too long. We'll be right there. Car four to headquarters. They're too much for us. Send help. Quick, the Martians have freed the animals. Apes are running loose in the park. No wonder. They're animals themselves. I wonder if those policemen were looking for Archie and his Martians. <laughs> Sounds like the whole police force is out. The saucer's headed toward Riverdale High. Riverdale police are swarming toward Apple and Banana Streets like flies. That's what we get for naming streets after fruit trees. <laughs> Fred, please. This is frightening. I've just been handed a bulletin. The Martians have been captured just outside Riverdale High School. A mobile unit is just approaching the scene. There now, dear. Shortly, you'll see that this whole thing has been a silly hoax. Look, Fred, there's one of the Martians. They're taking off his helmet. He gads. It's not a hoax. Look at that hideous face. Fred, that's Jughead Jones. And there's Archie. And now, before I award the prize for the best costume, I think I should mention that tonight shall more than likely go down in history of Riverdale as the night Riverdale proved that the Martians had better not land here. <laughs> I heard that the news spread clear across the country. Really? The press wants more pictures of us in our flying saucer, Arch. And now, because of such convincing costumes, the award goes to Veronica, Betty, Archie, Jughead, and Hot Dog. On behalf of the rest, thank you, Mr. Weatherby, and I'd like to congratulate our Riverdale Police Department for an excellent job and the manner in which they handled the situation. Oh, yes, and to Reggie Mantle, whom the police say admitted he was the one who tipped them off. Somebody let me out of here. I'm not an ape. There are no marshes. Now let me out or I'll be late for winning the best costume award. Ha, 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 ha.